Hi, welcome to Informatica's video channel. This is Saurabh Mishra from Master Data Management Team and in this video, I'll explain how to configure HTTPS for IDD in WebSphere application server. Agenda for this video is, I'll explain through creating Cyperion Key Store, then creating Cyperion Trust Key Store, then I'll explain setting up secure administration for WES, then we'll restart the WebSphere application server and open the IDD with HTTPS. Now I'll jump to demo directly. We'll enable SSL using the default SSL WebSphere configuration with the factory set server key store and trust score. Open the WES administrative console and log in. Click on security node in the left pane to open the security configuration. Now click on SSL certificate and key management. Now click on manage endpoint security configuration and expand the node. You need to come to inbound node. Now click on access key stores and certificates. Now we need to create Cyperion key store. Click new to create your new key store. I'll give a name Cyperion key store. Enter the path and file name for your key store. I'll use C dummy server key file. Enter and confirm password for the key store. Wave S as default password. This is the default password which comes with WES. Click apply and save changes. Now we will create Cyperion Trust Key Store. Click New to create your new Trust Key Score. I will give the name Cyperion Trust Key Store. Enter the path. Password is same as previous one. Click apply and save. Now we will create certificates, uh, certificates alias for Cyperion Key Store. Select personal certificates under additional properties. Click on create a self-signed certificate button. I'll give Elias name as dummy. Provide required information.
then click apply and save. Now we'll access the SSL configuration for the same node. Create new button to create your new SSL configuration. I'll set the name as Siberian SSL. From the tool list, select Siberian Trust Key Store as Trust Store Name and select Siberian Key Store as Key Store Name. Now click on Get Certificates aliases to populate the list of available server and client certificates. Now choose the certificate, in our case dummy in the alias name which you want to use for client and server in the drop down box. Here you can see dummy for both. Now click apply and save the configuration. Now we will set up secure administration, application and infrastructure. Now I came back to global security again. You need to make sure that administrative uh, in administrative security enables administrative security checkbox checkbox is checked and Java 2 security in Java 2 security use Java 2 security to restrict application access to local resources should be unchecked. Select the available RIB definitions as local operating system. Now click on configure button. Now provide admin username and password. Now Click on apply and save the changes. Now we will set up authentication protocol. Again go to glo global security and click on RMI IIOP security under, under authentication cache settings. Now click on CSI V2 inbound communication. Now set transport to SSL required. Set SSL setting to Siberian SSL. Now, cap now click on apply and save the changes. Now we need to restart our application server. I will stop the server first then I will restart it again. It, feels it will take some time to stop the server. Server is stopped now. I will start it again. It will take some time to start the server.
now server is started now we will check ID, uh, accessing IDD with HTTPS You can see that now we are able to access the IDD with HTTPS. It is using default port 9443 for HTTPS. As uh, here there is no IDD application installed, so we are not able to see. But uh, if you have some application, you will be accessed, uh, able to access that. We have restarted the server and we were able to connect to IDT with HTTPS. For a reference, you can log into IBM's Knowledge Center for more details. We would love to hear from you. Please log into support videos at informatica.com and you can also log into our Twitter handle for your feedback. Thanks for your time.